And so we come to the last chapter, in which Christopher Robin and Pooh come to the enchanted place. But we say goodbye. Goodbye? Oh, no, please, can't we go back to page one and do it all over again? Sorry, Pooh. But all stories have an ending, you know. Oh, bother. Yes, the time had come at last. Christopher Robin was going away to school. Nobody else in the forest knew exactly why or where he was going. All they knew was it had something to do with twice times and how to make things called A, B, C and where a place called Brazil is. Pooh, what do you like doing best in the world? What I like best is me going to visit you and you saying... How about a smackerel of honey? <laughs> I like that too. But what I like best is just doing nothing. How do you do just nothing? Well, it's when grown-ups ask, what are you going to do? And you say nothing. And then you go out and do it. I like that. Let's do it all the time. You know something, Pooh? I'm not going to do just nothing anymore. You mean... Never again? Well, not so much. Pooh, when I'm away just doing nothing, will you come up here sometimes? You mean alone? Just me? Yes. And Pooh, promise you won't forget me? Ever? Oh, I won't, Christopher. I promise. Not even when I'm a hundred? How old shall I be then? Ninety-nine. <laughs> Wherever they go, and whatever happens to them on the way, in that enchanted place on top of the forest, a little bear will always be waiting. This could be the room of any small boy, but it just happens to belong to a boy named Christopher Robin. Like most small boys, Christopher Robin has toy animals to play with, and they live together in a wonderful world of make-believe. But his best friend is a bear called Winnie the Pooh, or Pooh for short. Now, Pooh had some very unusual adventures, and they all happened right here in the hundred acre wood.
Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, Cuffy little Cuffy Oscar, with Fluffy's Winnie the Pooh.